Hi, my name is Felisa Ricketts and uh, as you know, I'm a teacher. I am extremely passionate about teaching. I wake up, I teach, I go to bed and I'm literally teaching in my sleep. That's how much I love teaching. I do love teaching. I love to teach. Now, I'm also an entrepreneur. I am the founder and managing director of Western STEM Academy. It's an online school. I've been talking to you all well now about Western STEM Academy, what we do, what we offer. But if you want more information, you can look in the comment section and I'm definitely going to be sharing what Western STEM Academy is, what we're all about. But I just want to talk with you a little bit. No, I did a poll earlier and I want to thank the over 200 persons who responded. I asked... Is it nine to five or is it being your own boss? And the results are in, so I'm gonna be sharing that with you right now. Now, based on the results right here, we have a 94% of persons saying that it's definitely being your own boss. And we have 6% of persons saying that it's nine to five. Now, for me personally, there is a space for both. There's a space for your nine to five, and there is a space for being your own boss. No, that's what we're going to be talking a little about right now. No, having a 9 to 5, can you really achieve true wealth or true success from your 9 to 5? That's something that we have to definitely think about. Because for me, I believe that having a 9 to 5, there's... 100% of the time, there's a cap on how much you can earn. So you're in your 9 to 5 and you feel like, all right, you're going to get promotion and you get promotion. Even if you reach the top, there is a cap on your earning. No, having a business, no. I don't believe that there is a cap on how much you can earn. You earn based on the amount of work that you put into your business. Now, many persons share away from entrepreneurship for many reasons. And I'm going to be going into the reasons why people really shy away from entrepreneurship in this video. Just having a chat with you. If, you, if you'd like to share your reasons why you shy away from entrepreneurship, you can put them right in the comment section but i'm just having a talk with you as it relates to the real reasons why people shy away from entrepreneurship but before i do that i'm just gonna give you a little as it relates to who i am my name is Felisa Ricketts, as I said, really passionate about education. I went to Westwood High School for girls, then I went to teacher's college, and then I started working. For me, I always tell you that I grew up in extreme poverty, like really, really dirt poor, extremely poor. And then education was my way out. So I've taught in public and private schools. So I've been teaching in both public and private schools. It's a 9 to 5, definitely. Well, not technically 9 to 5, but you know what I mean. You are working. It's not your own business. You're not your own boss. You're not in control of you. No, working like that, it wasn't fulfilling. The most fulfilling part of it was just interacting with my students. But when it comes on to achieving my goals, achieving the things that I really needed to achieve, it was obvious that the nine to five alone couldn't cut it that alone couldn't cut it plus there are other things that are going on there are problems that are that, that are happening there are things that are happening and i thought about it and i said how can i use my skills my talents and my passion to solve some of the problems that are going on as well as to earn something you know so i thought about that and then after that, no, I decided to start my own business. And I must be real with you that the journey has been really good so far. It has been really good just having Western STEM Academy and what it stands for. Because it's something, you know, along with the team, we basically get to mold it how we want it. We get to invest our time in it. And based, off the, based on the amount of time that we invest in that business, then the returns are based on that. So that's something that I want to share with you. Now, the real reason why we shy away from entrepreneurship, the main one that I realized is that we weren't taught about entrepreneurship in school it's not something that we were exposed to you're growing up from your in primary school or early childhood it's all about what you want to become and there are already jobs out there that um you should ascribe to so it's either gonna become a doctor a lawyer a teacher or nurse you don't get to truly explore 
what you're really passionate about because these are what you're presented with so that's also something that my school is working on for our students we don't just give them these set careers and say all right is that they're going to be a doctor a lawyer a teacher a nurse a police the list goes on but what are you most passionate about how do you want to use your skills and talents to contribute to society and definitely earn a livable income because that's something important sometimes we tend to shy away from money but money is important money is important that we talk about money for from a very young age our children deserve to talk about money because when they grow up and uh, it's it's there it's in the songs it's in the lifestyle so we have to expose them to what money is and the value of money not saying that money should consume them but we have to be real as a people we have to be real as a people we're so proud of talking about poverty we're talking about being poor so what about um talking about money that's not something that we should be shying away from no we weren't exposed to entrepreneurship in school and that's one of the main things that i feel hold us back as a people as it relates to pursuing entrepreneurship so because of that we grew up and we're just afraid of it the second thing i just mentioned it fear self-doubt or negative self-talk so because we grew up now we never really weren't exposed to it nowhere adults for the most part and we doubt ourselves like can i really own a business having a business is just for a set group of people those people who over there are rich and have it already but you have to understand that these people started from somewhere most of these people started from scratch or they started through other means so you cannot doubt yourself if you have an idea you have to pursue that idea you have to draft up that idea first of all and pursue that idea so that you too can achieve success stop talking yourself out of it stop i'm um, saying that you're not good enough stop saying that you're not good enough like if i should be honest with you if i did it i know that you can do it i i wasn't always this confident of a person i struggled with low self-esteem was i good enough was um people or were people going to accept me and you just have to understand that you have to be real this is who you are this is the value that you're adding it's either people are going to take it or they're gonna leave it so that's that's what we that's how we have to approach it so we can't talk ourselves out because what if it really happened what if you launch your business and you truly become successful you wouldn't know if you let fear held you back so that's something that I want um, to share with you that don't let um, fear, self-doubt or negative self-talk control you. The next one, we're too comfortable where we are at. That's the fourth one. We're too comfortable where we are at. Now, some of us, we in a nice little job and we have these ideas and we don't believe that we can step out and pursue because you're comfortable with where you are at but if you look back before in terms of at the beginning of the year you have these big goals but then in the middle of it all you get comfortable you get complete get complacent and you forget that at your current job you can be replaced in a jiffy you can be replaced you can be replaced in your own job but in your in in your job you can be replaced but being your own boss who is gonna replace you you are your own boss who is gonna replace you now for me i was working in a private school was working in a private school and uh, i bought a car while working in that private school and i was looking i was analyzing what's going on you know you have car loans to pay and all of that and then eventually things went down and i had to the job and I, we had to part then for my want of a better word. And you have to understand that you can be replaced. Life goes on. You won't be at that particular job forever. Or even if you're going to be there forever, when you leave there, what would you have accomplished? Would you have lived your dreams? Or were you just there helping to build another person's dream? Now, I've worked at several places before I started um, my own business. I've worked in many different places because I would tell my friends that, um, to be honest, I'm not really loyal to the place that I'm working at. I am loyal to me. You have to be loyal to yourself. You have to be loyal to your dreams. You have to build your dreams, guys. You have to work on building your dreams. Even if um, 
you're not really in it for the monetary gain just to say that you are contributing or you're giving back and in the end you can also contribute to your own life you can also develop your own life after starting um western stem academy i felt so good that i could have this school that could provide quality online education for people so this is something that i want you to look at that first of all number one we weren't exposed at a young age and we feel like we can't do it but i'm here to tell you that you can do it you have what it takes to do it do not let fear stop you do not be too comfortable with where you are now if you're in if you're thinking about if you have been thinking about a business idea for a while now and you're fearful or you feel like you're not good enough i want to help you i want to help you and that is why i've launched this online course i've launched this online course through western stem academy it's the abc's of entrepreneurship we're basically going to help you with that business idea that you have we're going to evaluate if you're fit for business because you have so many things you have so much to offer are you fit for business that's what we're going to be looking at we're going to be exploring your skills your talents and your passion and to see how you can monetize those and actually earn from them and also contribute to the society and become more independent because yeah it's all about being independent being your own boss also we're going to be identifying gaps that are in the society and how your skills your talents can solve the abc's of entrepreneurship course will help you to identify the target market for your business so that you can target the right audience will also help you with social media as a marketing tool for your business at the end of this six weeks course you will have a registered business we're going to help you to register your business through the company's office of jamaica so that's a bonus that we're giving away and you will become a certified entrepreneur yes you heard me correctly a certified entrepreneur so that's the six weeks program that we have it's a six weeks online course that we're giving away the original cost of this course is actually fifteen thousand dollars but we're giving it to you from now until the 10th of december for only five thousand dollars so we are asking you just to sign up, sign up very early because conditions apply and we might close out very soon.